Corks Red FM. We have, yeah, we've we've big squad and it's very competitive. But in saying all that, though, the likes of Graham Kent, they don't come around too often, you know, so he'd be missing any team in the country. But yeah, we have we've plenty of subs there who are, who are more than willing to come in and drive it on to. I suppose you've had a few weeks break uh, since the Roscommon game now. Do you know, was that welcome after the, the week on week action during the qualifiers? It must have been fairly tough. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, it was tough enough going already, but, you know, I suppose we're out with club then, we were out hurling with ahead, uh, and, you know, other, other gang were out hurling football as well. But um, we had break then after that and we're just training away in other part of Dublin. Looking at the qualifiers was, was it difficult you know I mean let's say Wexford Park was obviously very testing conditions and then Limerick obviously taking it extra time did, did you feel yourself within the squad you know the fellas were very tired after those encounters? Yeah they probably were you know it's uh, travel too like you're down to Wexford and you're staying the night you're up to Limerick and you're you know then we were up to Crow Park wasn't it yeah so like there's a lot of travel and you know you're you're training once or twice a week, but it's not tough, and then you're getting going again, you've to, and, and you have to work five days a week, which is tough, and you know it's hard enough in itself. Like, but um, yeah, but geez, it's was it's results, and we've we've won a mile, and we're in the semi-final now, so it's looking forward now, as opposed to looking back where you know. I suppose just maybe you know look, looking at that hectic schedule, do you think that maybe kind of contributed to probably your slow start against Roscommon? You know, you, you found it difficult to kind of get going in the first half. They seem to be pinning you back. Maybe, but maybe not too. Right. Maybe they were just better than us or as good as us you know what I mean uh, I don't really know to be honest with you you know what I mean we, we didn't start great and they started well enough I suppose but I suppose we finished a bit better than them you know you mentioned the finish there I suppose in, in the second half you really set, stepped it up you know scoring them I think it was 1-9 to 2 points in the last half hour that, that must have been satisfying that when you needed to kick on you did we did yeah we, I suppose we did know Roscommon probably tired a little bit too that contributed a bit there too but, and we had some good fresh legs who come in there and played very well but um, yeah it is good you know but again if we'd beaten Roscommon by point, we wouldn't really care because like, we would have won the game. That's, that's all about, you know. I suppose you've obviously been concentrating on your own uh, progress through the qualifiers, but did you, have you got a chance to look at Dublin at all? Yeah, we've looked at Dublin. We looked at Dublin there the other day, and um, you know their, their work rate is phenomenal, really. And, and if we don't match them in work rate, we're, we're not going to win, you know. So we have to work, work as hard as them, you know, to have any chance at all. I suppose any team that beats a side like Tyrone with all their all earning successes of recent years has to be reckoned with course I mean you know Tyrone Tyrone would be contenders for the All-Ireland every year uh, like Dublin beat Armagh would have been contenders for the All-Ireland you know so they're, they're knocking him off one by one and, and we have to make sure it's not going to be us next I suppose in addition you have to cope with you're going up to Crow Park you know where Dublin are going to have massive support a packed Hill 16 and all that that's another factor it is yeah. yeah it's another thing you just have to kind of I suppose tune out of a small bit maybe and focus on the game you know but it, it certainly will be you know it will be obviously good for the Dubs having that much support all right you know Overall, is it a challenge you're looking forward to? And do you sense that amongst the squad? Of course. I mean, all Ireland semi finals, if you don't look forward to them, do you know, against Dublin, which we haven't played in Championship in a good while, so definitely looking forward to it. But I'd imagine they are looking forward to up in Dublin too, so it's, it's all about performing now. Has there been anything about them in particular that's impressed them this year, or, or is it just like, as you said earlier, the work rate and I suppose the, the work rate, their energy like, all over the pitch? Yeah, you know, I suppose, speaking as a forward, no, we'd be watching their defence, I suppose, m- more so than their attack, whatever. And, Defensively, they set themselves up very well, and, and you know they make it very hard. They close on the space very, very much so in defence, which is, uh, you know, uh, very hard. To, it's very hard to break them down. Like you don't see many teams scoring high against them or cutting through for goals or anything, or, or you know. So that's something that's going. To, we just kind of have to try and plug away and, and create a few goals if we can, you know. Corks Red FM.